y'all and welcome to today's video. I finally got my order from Hindash in the mail. It came in last night and I'm so excited to try this stuff out. I actually was on the Hindash site specifically to buy his new palette, this beautiful kind of colorful palette that he released and I kind of blacked out on launch day and I bought everything on the Hindash site. I bought the palette that was released last year, the eyeliners, all the lipsticks, the liquid highlighter, the lip liner, and the eye other pencil eyeliner. I bought it all. Everything from Hindash. So what I thought we could do today was two different looks. I want to try these products on the eyes, lips, cheeks, everything. I want to test it out, really get a feel for the products. If you pick these up, maybe I can give you some inspiration or if you were debating getting them, maybe this can help you out. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing new products, we are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week, but we do have a lot to talk about today, so let's jump into it. Let's start off with me just showing you a little bit of everything that I bought. So I did buy the Monochromance palette. I am going to show you a close up of this palette so you can see it before I dip my fingers and brushes into it. This is really, really beautiful and this was the thing I was most excited about in this launch. I think the packaging, first of all, is very, very sleek. When I got this order in, I was very impressed by how well it was packaged and how luxurious everything felt. Now I will say I did pay for expedited shipping. I did pay extra money and it did take a long time for Hindash to send out my order. So I was a little disappointed in that. But once the order got to me, I'm very happy with how beautiful everything looks. I'm going to show you swatches of this palette right here. I did the best I could because these are gradient powders. So I just try to kind of swatch the lightest side and the darkest side. And I will say I have not put these on my eyes yet, but I think these are going to be the type of powder products that don't swatch the best, but that look beautiful on the skin. Once we try it on, we'll see if that's correct. But the other things that launched in this collection are these two lipsticks. Now I'll pop up swatches of these for you, but we have one that is, let me see, let me read you the finishes because they're different finishes. We have Call Me Peaches, which is an ultra matte. And then we have, where are we? We have Rest in Roses, which is a matte balm. So I'm very excited to try these. I will say the packaging is very luxe and nice. I love this component. It just feels, it feels very expensive, if I'm going to be honest with you. It feels very expensive and luxurious. The other thing that launched as a part of this collection was this lip liner. Now, this is the lip tone in the shade Hush, and this is a lip tone pencil. We'll try this on. And then there was also a pencil eyeliner. This is the eye tone in the shade Intra. We'll try that today as well. The other thing that launched is Boy Tears. Now, this was super intriguing to me. This is an ultra shimmer color fluid. So I thought we could use this on the eyes. We could use this on a face as a highlight. We'll try it out all the ways. But from his previous launches, I won't spend too much time on this because I know a lot of y'all probably have already tried this. But this is the Butopsy palette. I'll show you a close up of what it looks like on the inside, but this is a more neutral gradient. I've seen a lot of people use these on the eyes and the face. I will also show you some swatches of this. I'm very excited to try this on the eyes because I know it's got great reviews. The other thing I picked up was his eyeliner, his liquid liner. This is the Hero Line Eyeliner. This is a liquid liner and you can see that the component kind of matches the lipsticks. 
So everything feels very luxurious, very beautiful, but I really cannot wait to get this on my face. I do have my skin and brows done. I did go ahead and put on a bronzer, but maybe for look two, we can see if we can use a bronzer. I just, I really prefer warm toned bronzers because I do have a warm olive undertone to my skin. So I wasn't sure that I would be able to really bronze up my face with these, but I definitely want to do blush, highlight, lips, eyes all together. So I'm going to zoom y'all in and we will get to applying these products. Okay, my eyes are primed and ready for a shadow. I will list all the makeup that's on my face down below just in case you're curious. I'll list my eye primer, all of that, but I'm using my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Lay and Low. It is my tried and true eye primer. And the focus of our eye looks are going to be on this palette because this is the newest thing. This is the thing I'm most excited for. And I really want to play with these blues and I want to play specifically with the darker side here, but I kind of want to move up the gradient. So maybe like middle and down. So I'm picking this up on a Morphe brush. This is an M433. So I'm going to pick that up. There is a really nice mirror in here. I love trying new makeup brands, like just trying new brands and seeing like how the shadows perform and what what pigment's going to be like, what blendability is going to be like, all of that. Like it just makes me so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love makeup so much. It's so fun. And what I'm doing right now is just focusing this in the outer corner. I really want a gradient of like light to dark for this look. So I'm just going to buff that in right out here. So far, so good. Everything's looking really, really pretty. Okay, so I feel like right away I had pigment on my eyes. It was easy to blend. I'm not having any patchiness. And I will say, teal colors like this can definitely get patchy if it's not a great formula. So, I mean, I know this doesn't look like much, but I mean, right off Right off the bat, I'm kind of impressed. What I'm going to do now is take this R104 brush from What's Up Beauty, and I want to dip just a little bit into the lightest side here. I'm going to tap it off, and I'm going to use this to just kind of soften up right out here all along the edges. I'm using a very fluffy brush for this because I don't want a ton of pigment, just enough to kind of blend, but this is... This is pretty, okay. All right, Hen Dash. I see you. <clears throat> okay, I'm now gonna take this refer brush. This is a refer 01. And I wanna start right here with Match and fade it down into Made. So we're going with the shade Match Made. And I just kind of wanna put this all over the lid here and kind of fade it into that turquoise. So I'm going back and forth. I'm even going up into the crease and just buffing so that we kind of have a nice gradient from this really neutral, almost skin tone color into that teal. And this shade is going from lash line to crease. So I'm taking it all the way down lid and buffing back and forth like this. Okay, I really like how this is coming together. Like it's very effortless looking to me and it felt effortless to blend, but I wanna kinda of do something on the lower lash line and I wanna match what's going on on the lid. So I'm going to go into Forever and Inked, and this is a Refer 03 brush. I'm going to put this right out here underneath my lower lash line, and I'm going to only bring it in about halfway, just like this, and then I'm going to leave the rest of it bare. Wow. These are blending really easy. Okay, I like that. I like it. So far, so good. I'm going to take this 
brush, the big fluffy brush we used earlier, and just kind of bounce that around. Now let's do a matte inner corner. And so I'm going to keep with this palette, but I'm going to go into the lightest part of the shade called Alter. So we're going to put it right here on the inner corner. Just a few shades lighter than my skin tone, so it's going to give me a little bit of brightness. Oh, that's beautiful. Really pretty, really smooth looking powders. Okay, I want to use, what did he call this? The Eye Tone Pencil. Okay, so it just looks like a, a brown. Let's see if it's a warm brown or not. I haven't even swatched this because I wanted the first impression to be here. And this looks like a warm brown. I'm just going to use this on the waterline for this look. And I'm going to buff it in like this. Pretty. Now let's use the liquid liner. Now I have to say, I'm not amazing at winged liner. I don't think I'm terrible, but I'm just not like amazing. I'm not one of those people you see on Instagram or here on YouTube that are like shoop, 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 and it's just perfect. <laughs> but I'm going to do my best because I'm not trying to be perfect anyways. Who cares? So let me see what I can do. I've heard this liner is amazing. It is a brush tip, which I like. I like a brush tip. All right. So far, so good. It's gliding on very smoothly. Let me just kind of line here. And let's see. Let's check my level. Let me, see. Let me just get both eyes lined first. You can tell, I don't normally do winged liner, but I figure since we have this, why not try something new? If the wings aren't perfect, who cares? Okay, just a tiny little wing like that. I will say that was very easy. Like, I feel like I have a lot of control with this, which is nice. baby wings there we go okay the more I mess with them the worse they're gonna get but they, they look good the liners good I am going to do mascara and I'm gonna do a little lash and then I'll come back we'll kind of see how the eye looks coming together I want to do lips together I want to do um, boy tears on the face but I also want to dip into these pinky shades for blush and see how these apply on the cheeks. So I will be right back. Okay, here are the eyes. I put on some House of Lashes Iconic Lights. I really like the way this eye look is coming together. I really like this. I know it's very simple. But I like it. I like the way the teal looks with the neutrals. I'm here for it. I really liked the way the eyeliner applied, but I want to do some blush and I want to use this palette. Now, I did buy the original <laughs> Beautopsy palette and maybe we'll use this in the next look. In the second look, I'll kind of combine both. But for this look, I just kind of want to focus on this palette and let's do blush. Hmm. What color blush? Do I want to do this one or do I want to do this one? I think we'll go with the more pinky tones. I am wearing my Vive Modern Bronzer. I'll link it down below for y'all. But let's go with the pinky. And I'm just going to take my BK Beauty 108 brush. And I'm just going to go from lightest and kind of tap it down to the darkest shade. And let's see how these look on the face. That's really soft and pretty, isn't it? It's a very smoothing. I have a lot of texture on my face, y'all. I used a old, not an old foundation, but my face went nuts so it's okay I have a lot of texture on my face but this is a very like smoothing kind of blurring type of powder isn't that really pretty I'm gonna dip now more into the deeper part petal 
and just kind of press it in. This is a really pretty blush. Okay, pretty on the eyes, pretty on the cheeks. Wow. Like, I'm very impressed with it as a blush just because it looks very blurring and smoothing and soft and pigmented and blendable. Okay, first impression of that is really good because I think this looks super pretty, but I want to try Boy Tears. Okay, I am not always the biggest fan of liquid highlights, but let's try it. I'm just going to kind of paint it on. I know it said this is for eyes or face, and this is definitely shimmery. I want to know if it's going to lift the powder products underneath and lift my foundation, and it's not. Now, this is definitely sparkly, so if you're one of those people who hate a sparkly highlight, you're not going to want this as a highlight. You're going to want to use this just on the eyes, I think, because it's sparkly. But I don't see that it lifted any foundation. Maybe it did, actually. Did it? I don't think it lifted it, but I do think I would like this better on an unset face and then set on top of it. But I do think that looks pretty. Okay, now I'm going to try to put it from directly on my finger onto my face instead of using the brush. So I'm going to tap it in this way. I like it better like this. I like it better when I put it on my finger and then on my face. I do feel like that blends a little bit better and it looks even more intense. I mean, this looks beautiful, but this I think is the best way. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I like it. I like it. Okay. I know that I love a nose highlight and I know I love an upper lip highlight. <laughs> Even though people always tell me, don't do that, don't highlight your, but I love it, okay? And I'm gonna do my makeup the way I love it. And this is so pretty. Ooh, okay, okay, boy tears, I like that. Now what lip should we do? I feel like we should do the deeper one, Rest in Roses. And I'm gonna use the lip liner. I have not even swatched the lip liner. But I feel like I could use that eyeliner on the lips too, couldn't I? Let me line these. What did I say the, the lip is? Lip tone in the shade Hush. Okay, I think the lip liner is really nice. It kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hill one. Maybe a tad bit creamier. I'm talking about the ABH The New lip liners. Kind of reminds me of that. But let's try it Rest in Roses. And now this was described as a matte balm. Okay, now that I'm looking more, it does look like where I rubbed the applicator, it did kind of pull away some of the face products underneath, but over here where I put it on with the finger, it didn't. So I probably won't put the applicator directly on my, un like directly on top of powders anymore. But this is a balm for sure. Okay, I really like my look. I would really like to know what y'all think of this. Very simple, but I feel great. Like, I feel really, really, really pretty in this look. I would love to know what you think. And, yeah, I'm going to do another look for y'all. For you, it will be, like, a couple of seconds to the next look. For me, it's going to be much longer than that. But I really like this look. I'm very, very happy with it. Okay, I am ready to play with these Hindash products again. I loved my first look. I really liked the way everything applied. Now, I will say I do already have the Boy Tears as a highlight on my face. I've applied it before I set my face down with powder, and I really like the way it looks. I think it looks so beautiful, and... I love it. Like, I love it. This is probably my favorite way to wear it as opposed to how I applied it over an already set face in the first look. It is very shimmery, but I feel like it's shimmery in a way that makes my cheeks look wet. I just really, really, really like it. Like, really like it. 
but I want to create a look and I actually want to kind of dip into both palettes today so I can get more of a feel for them. I will remind you that I do follow up videos on palettes that I try, products that I try after a few weeks of trying them. Every month I do a favorites and hate it's where I review products and I do a palette ranking. So I give you a full review after testing and trying things a lot more than one time. So just remember today it's going to be kind of a first and second impression and then I'll give you a follow up review in a couple of weeks. But yesterday's look was more like blues and neutrals so for this look I want to do kind of pinks and purples maybe even these purples and reds so that is what we're gonna do okay I'm gonna start off with this art 104 from what's up beauty and I'm gonna go right into heart the shade right here and I'm gonna pull it down not all the way to this deepest color but kind of maybe three-fourths of the way. So I'm going to stop it right there. This is the shade Heart Throb. And I'm just going to put this all in the crease. So here's my socket right here. And I'm also going up above that. I'm not worried about bringing it down to the lash line. But I'm just being kind of messy with the shade. I mostly just want to get it fluffed on. I do feel like these are very blendable and they're buildable so they're not going on super intensely pigmented but the pigment is there. I think that's really nice especially considering you can use this as a face and eye palette. I think the powders are really really nice. Okay, what I'm going to do now is take my Refer 01 brush and I want to go into Antidote, but I'm staying down here on the more darker side, so we're going into more of the dote, the dark purple, and I'm going to put this right here in this outer portion of my eye, blending it up and around like this. I'm also going to pull this shade down underneath the lower lash line, just being a little sloppy, kind of a blown out type of look, nothing precise at all, just going back and forth. Okay, I'm now going to take this Sigma E24, and I want to grab this into the lighter purple right up here. I'm going to stick right in there, those light tones, and I'm going to just put this all over the lid, like this, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now I want to dip into the original Beauty Topsy palette, Beautopsy, I don't know, I'm probably not saying that correctly, but it's okay, y'all know what I mean, and I'm going to grab this. 102 from What's Up Beauty, and I want to go into this matte white. This is the shade Tan Lines, and I want to do a matte white in our corner highlight just like this. So I'm going to pop that there. All right, wrap it around like this, make it a bit bright right there. And then I want to add a little bit of depth and darkness out here. So I'm going to go into this dark black shade, um, Intrafan, Intrafant, uh, this black shade down here. So I'm grabbing this B4 brush from Blend Bunny. I really like these brushes for a little bit of detail. I'm just taking the black just lightly. You can see this is not a super pigmented black. If you're thinking about shadows that are like super creamy and opaque right off that's not these powders these are a bit buildable and blendable and i think this is really really nice because i'm definitely able to like dip in and build up this black which i think a lot of y'all will really like because it's very forgiving because you're not going to get just wham in your face pigment and not be able to blend it you can slowly go in and build to the level that you're comfortable with. I do think these are just really, really nice powders. Like this is looking so pretty. See, I was able to just give a little bit of darkness to the outer corner. Okay, I've only used a couple of shades, but 
I do feel like these palettes, these two, feel like the same formulas. They're performing the same really nicely. Okay, if you wanted to have the all matte look, you could definitely leave your look like this. Mascara, liner, lashes, whatever you want to do. I love this look. I would definitely wear this all matte. In fact, I love the way this is looking. But I did want to try boy tears on the eyes. So again, this is the complete look if you want to keep it all matte. But I want to see how boy tears does on the eyes because I think it's so beautiful on the face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to tap it on the lid with my fingers. I just kinda of want it to be like diff dis diffused, <laughs> there's the word, diffused shimmer. So I'm just gonna tap like this. I feel like I got enough shimmer on both eyes. I'm not gonna look up. I'm gonna give it a second to dry since it is kind of a liquid product. But that looks pretty, doesn't it? Very like ethereal, soft, diffused shimmer. I'm kind of liking the way it looks, but of course I'm gonna have to wait till my eyes are open. I'm just going to kind of look down for about 30 seconds because I don't know this product and I don't want to ruin my eye look. Okay, I feel like that looks really sweet, really soft, really pretty. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of blush though. And now I want to use this palette for blush since we used the other one last time. And I think we'll go into Boy Wonder and I'm actually going to mix in Love Kills too. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, BK Beauty 108. I'll link the brushes for y'all down below too. But I'm going to start here and I'm going to kind of sweep down. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to kind of sweep down. Hopefully that makes sense. And we'll see what kind of blush this gives. I really like a red toned blush. I think they're really pretty. I'm going to add a little bit more of that Boy Wonder back here. I think that looks really pretty. I think it looks really soft. I mean, I told y'all I've, I've got bad breakouts from my foundation, but I feel like this is not making any of my texture looks look worse. I feel like it's making it look really nice. Okay, I am really happy with how this is coming together. I am gonna put on the lipstick in Call Me Peaches. This is the ultra matte formula. I'm gonna use the lip liner and both of the eyeliners again, and then I'll be back and I'll kind of give you my first impression and second impression thoughts on these products. Okay, this is my finished look. To top it off, I decided to use my Martine Cosmetics Mascara and skip false lashes. And I kind of want to talk to you about my thoughts on these products. I went into this never having tried the brand before. I did not watch any videos, reviews. I watched nothing so that I would not have any, like, any thoughts on how this would perform or the lips or the boy tears or anything like that. Now, of course, this palette and this liquid liner have been out for a while, so I, I did kind of expect these to be really good. But overall, I just went into trying this brand very open-minded, very like just ready to see what it was going to do, good or bad. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with everything I tried. I mean, I bought one of everything that the brand makes. And I kind of feel like some of these products have the potential to be holy grail favorites. Now, let me just, okay, let's start first with the palettes. I think this is very beautiful, very soft, very buildable, very blendable. I definitely think these can be eye and face shades. I just I had a great experience. I thought these look really, really pretty. I feel like this is perfect for, of course, any time of year, but as us here, me and Mississippi, we're going into spring, this feels like it's perfect for the springtime. I really like the gradients here. And overall, I feel very excited to create more looks with this palette, which to me is always a good sign for makeup because I do try a lot of makeup and there are some times things that I try and I'm just like you know I tested it I tried it and I don't really want to use it again but this I feel like 
I want to play with it some more. Like, I want to create a ton of more looks with this. And I feel the same way with this one. I've played with this one less, of course, than this one. But I do feel like the formulas are the same. I do feel like these formulas are very luxurious. Again, lightly pigmented, but buildable, very blendable, very easy to use. I definitely want to try these more on the face and eyes. But... I just feel like they're very luxurious, like very nice. I'm into it. Now for the lipsticks, I really liked the shade Rest in Roses. This shade right here, the Call Me Peaches, I would normally pair with a lip liner that's a little bit darker because this is such a light shade. So normally I try to like deepen it up just a little bit, but the formulas of these are really, really nice. I mean, this is even a matte formula and you can see it's not super the matte. I feel like it still looks really nice on the lips. I like the lip liner. I think it looks really nice. I really liked it with the Call Me Roses. I hope that he will expand and launch more shades in all three of those formulas because we had a matte balm, an ultra matte, and a lip tone pencil. So I would love to see more shades. I will of course link those down below for y'all. Some of his products are available at Beautylish. So I'll put a link there into the Hindash site. I will say this lip liner, the eye lip liner, eyeliner, the eye tone pencil, I love this. I'm somebody that wears black or brown eyeliner 90% of the time. So I feel like I know good blacks and browns and I really like the tone of this. I think this will work for just about everybody. I think it's so beautiful. Sorry, Dusty's calling me. I will call him back because I got to talk to y'all. I got to tell y'all all my thoughts on these. The liquid liner... I, I'm, in, I'm just going to tell you what I'm thinking. I think this is going to be my favorite liquid black liner that I've ever tried because it was so easy to put on. It, it just glides and it's very thin. So even today I put it on my upper lashes and I was able to get the thinnest line so close to the lash line. It didn't feather even when I wore it with the wing. In the first look, it just didn't feather. It just went on so easily and for somebody like me who's not a pro at liquid liner I just really like this I just really like this of course I'm gonna follow up with all of these things and I will tell you in a few weeks what I really think after testing them and trying them more these are just my first and second impressions boy tears I love it on the face. I love it on the face and I think it's beautiful on the eyes too. I feel like I have just this light little bit of sparkle that's not creasing, that's setting so well on top of these powders. It looks very ethereal. If you don't like shimmer, you're not going to like this. I personally love shimmer, sparkle, glitter, all of it. Give it to me. I think this is so, so beautiful. I uh, th this is how I'm feeling. I have, I've had such a positive experience so far. If Hindash had like a flash right now and was like, hey, new product, flash sale on my website, check this out, new palette, I would buy it. I would buy it. I, I will say I did pay extra for shipping and it did take Hindash a long time to actually print out my label and ship my order, but it is what it is. I would buy from them again. I, I really like both the looks and I'm very excited to test these products more. Of course, I know I've said it a thousand times already in this video, but I will follow up with a review for y'all in a few weeks once I really put these products to the test. But if you're wanting to know what I think, I really everything I really like everything if I could tell you just like one one product like what's the best thing I really like the I really like the boy tears I really like the liquid liner I really like the pencil liner and I think these palettes are really cool the lip products I like a lot but I don't know if they're like so incredibly special and it's products that you can't find anywhere else but for me I love them. I'm having a great time with it. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, social media, anybody who you think would enjoy my content. It honestly helps me out a ton when y'all share my videos. But I hope that you're having an awesome day. And thank you again for watching. Bye.